mushrooms and wind speed. A fascinating thing is that mushrooms can alter wind speed. The fact is that mushrooms reproduce by the use of spores, and if there is no wind, complete calm, then mushrooms will begin to emit a water vapor, which slightly cools the surrounding air. Thus, weak air currents are created, which then transfer the spores of fungi far and away. The maximum ever recorded non-tornado wind speed on our planet reached 408 kilometers an hour. Such a record was achieved in 1996 on the Australian island of Barrow. The culprit was Olivia, a Category 5 cyclone. The wind blew almost 100 kilometers an hour faster during the storm than the average speed of a Formula One race car. But this breeze was not even close to Neptune's winds. Winds tear at a speed exceeding 2,000 kilometers an hour on the farthest planet of the solar system. The supersonic airliner AS-2 will reach almost the same speed. It is currently being developed by the aircraft company Arion in conjunction with Airbus. But this is all just baby talk if we are speaking about the universe. Using the Chandra X-ray telescope, it was found that from a disk that surrounds a black hole in the vicinity of the IGR object J17091-3624, at a distance of 28,000 light years from Earth, the fastest wind in the known universe blows at a speed above 32 million kilometers an hour. This is 3% of the speed of light. One can hardly imagine such a thing. The universe is certainly cool, but let's return to our lonely planet Earth. What do you think? Do we need the wind? What would happen if it disappeared? And what would we need to make it disappear? It's simple, really. The fact is that wind arises from the mixing of the atmosphere. To stop our atmosphere from mixing, it must completely harden. Theoretically, this could happen at a temperature of about 50 degrees above absolute zero. This would require that the sun should suddenly disappear from our solar system. And if we figure out how to do this, then all living things would cease to exist at about the same time or not very long after. Okay then, a different question. What will happen if the wind does not completely disappear, but instead turns into a constant calm? This is where the wind speed does not exceed 0.2 meters per second. What would happen to life on Earth? Well, for one thing, we are likely to suffocate. In fact, the wind is gas exchange. The move from higher pressure to low, from a higher concentration of gas to less. If, for example, complete calm were to suddenly reign in your room, you would most likely begin to suffocate. A similar problem once arose on the International Space Station. When cosmonauts breathe in weightlessness, a high concentration of exhaled carbon dioxide gathers near them, which can lead to hypoxia, that is, a lowered oxygen content in the body. So now, electric fans continuously blow on the International Space Station. Therefore, yes, if calm suddenly appears on the whole planet, people and all other organisms will simply suffocate. You watched to the end, and so you like the video. It's time to put your finger up and subscribe to my channel. I promise many more cool releases, so don't miss them. See you later.